Hi guys, um, in this video we will learn how can we convert an uh, image file into an AutoCAD file in DWG file. So on my screen this is a circular pattern, uh, so type of an elemental pattern and just I uh, want to convert uh, this file into an uh, AutoCAD file. So if I want to, uh, I want to draw this, uh, trace this file in AutoCAD, it would really take so, so, uh, time to trace, to trace it out. So there is an easy way how can we convert this image files uh, or any type of the image file you can convert into AutoCAD file. So the first step is to go to the browser and uh, search for the circular pattern. So this is the uh, this is I will search for the circular pattern and in essence I have to click on this images. If you click on images, there will be a lot of images uh, the any of one you want to convert. So I just uh, want to convert uh, like any uh, like this one to an file. So what I have to click on this and then right click on the save image files or open files of any of the file and just I will uh, rename it to the pattern. So the image has been downloaded. The next six options is I used to come for, uh, for a new tab and then I will search for Conversio and then click on this Conversio file converter. Here in this uh, I have to uh, choose the file, the file which I have recently downloaded. So I will click on the choose file and then I will select the file. So this is the file I have downloaded, this is the pattern one and I will click on open. The next thing, so option is to I have to convert this file to. So I will click on this down arrow. There's a lot of options so you can convert this image file, but the file I just want to convert into like in a CAD file. So I will come here down for the CAD and then we'll click on this DXF and then we'll click on the convert. So it is trying to upload this file and it will be will convert it into a uh, DXF file. So it is converting the file into the DXF file and it will be almost ready made to do the download. So the file hovers has been converted and almost finished. So I have to click on this download option file has been uh, downloaded so if I want to click on <coughs> open, open so the file has been directly open into my AutoCAD but it is not visible what I have to do I have to like to zoom out a little bit so this is the file and the image file that have been downloaded but if this file is not open to your AutoCAD directly so what you have to do you have to click here and then the file just I have recently downloaded this is the pattern file and I will, I will try to locate this file so the file just have been downloaded in here I will just right click on copy and then I will come for my and then I will just paste it on the desktop. So this is the file that have been I have pasted right here. So next I have to close all of these and uh, this one also. Then I have to click on this other okay, then open. So there is this has a like I will come there. Has, there is my file. This has been downloaded. This is the pattern, but it will not be maybe not shown to you because there we already DWG has been will be selected. So what I have to convert it, you have to look at the files. So I have saved on the desktop. So I will come here and click on this DXF. So this is the file that I have just downloaded from the conversio site, and I will click on open. Uh, but before that, you have to make sure that you have to click on the DXF. So <coughs> file will be open to an AutoCAD. So if I try to zoom out a little bit, so this is the file data image pattern that has been converted to an AutoCAD. This was this image file and this is the AutoCAD version or the editable version. You if you click on this so they have a lot of editable you can edit this file. So this is a nice and easy way uh, you can convert any of the pattern, any of the pattern from an image to an AutoCAD file, editable file. You can then uh, save it as an AutoCAD file. Also, like you click save as, and then come for in the uh, like it to you will save it like to AutoCAD in 2010 into into DWG, and uh, you can save on the disk of like a pattern that DWG. So it will be saved in AutoCAD file. If you have to check out so on my desktop, I have said this is the AutoCAD file in the DWG file. So this is the right easy and easy way that you can convert any of the pattern to an AutoCAD file. I hope you will like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.